Uh, we're going to start with Alex Barth, um, followed by Jim McBride. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Uh, I'm wondering if you can just kind of take us through from when you got released and, and maybe because you, you weren't on that, that same deadline with the tampering period, when it started to crystallize that maybe there was a chance you'd be back in New England. I think it started right away. Um, I think a couple of teams started right away to uh, do their due diligence. And then um, as the days got closer to the start of free agency, a little more movement came and, you know, the rest is history. And then uh, one more for you real quick. I'm just wondering what the biggest difference was in your mind between Brian Flores, the linebackers coach and Brian Flores, the head coach. Yeah, no comment. Okay. Thank you. Next question, Jim McBride, followed by Joe Chiata. Hey, Kyle, welcome back to New England. I'm wondering uh, how quickly after you were released in Miami, did you get in contact with, with some of the old Patriots like Dante um, and, and, and the, the McCourty twins about maybe coming back? Yeah, I mean, I talk to them almost every day, so it's – it wasn't anything new. Uh, so uh, I, I don't know how to explain that. It's like I talk to them all the time. So it's like we don't skip a beat. So, I mean, we talked about it and, you know, we had a we have good relationships and I'm um, just happy to be back with my brothers and it's going to be exciting. Hopefully, hopefully we can do some damage and make some noise. I, I guess what I mean is uh, did they start campaigning right away and start recruiting you right away? <laughs> um, I, I don't. I don't think they had to do too much recruiting. Uh, I think they left it up to my decision, just like I would leave it up to them. Uh, I think they did, you know, throw some jokes out there to me with the eyeballs, which is always funny. Um, and I, I, you know, I'm happy to be back. I'm happy to play with some new players. I'm happy to play you know, put my jersey back on and get things going. Thanks, Kyle. And Joe Kayana, followed by Chris Ryan. Hey, Kyle, after being gone for a year down in Miami, what does it mean to you to be back and back on that Patriots team, back on that defense with, with head coach Bill Belichick? Yeah, I think it means a lot. It, I think when you have one of the greatest, if not the greatest, um, coach in the game and a defensive mind uh, pick you. I think that speaks volume of who he thinks I'm as a player, which is uh, awesome to have someone have confidence in you and your game and to be back and play with um, the fans and somewhere where I've uh, started uh, my, my legacy there and be able to continue it hopefully and um, do what I can on the field and off the field, that's gonna, I, I, I can't ask for it much more. We're really excited. It, it, just a quick follow up. Um, what was it like being, I guess, on the outside, being an AFC East division rival going up against Bill in, in the Patriots? Was that, was that a little weird now that you're back here? Um, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I know, I know, I know everything they do down there, and um, it's going to be good. Uh, next question, we're going to go to Tom Curran, then to Chris Ryan. Go ahead, Tom. Tommy boy. <laughs> Thank you so much, Stacey. Thank you, everybody. Good to see everybody. What's up, co-host? How you doing? I'm great. Um, listen. There were occasions when you played the Patriots last year on both occasions where things got a little chippy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Leave so, it up to you, my guy. <laughs> are you going to have to put your arm around some guys and straighten things out here and there, or is that just what yeah, of transpired? Course, of course. You know, I, I want to talk to Cam. I mean, I feel like um, me, and, me and Cam have similar um, um, mindset, and that's to win. And I'm excited to work with them. I've heard nothing but good things. Um, I think everybody's going to be excited after hopefully we have dinner and I'll pay for it. 
and just get to know each other better. And, you know, I think it, it's, it was, it's a, it's a good rivalry. It's, we know they, everybody knows everybody. People have played on both sides. So uh, it's going to be, it's going to be good. The Patriots, just one quick follow. And the Patriots, you know, they go seven and nine last year, and you were part of making them have that season um, with the loss the second time around. But any delight that you took in them losing and all the people who've been peeing on the Patriots' grave for the last few months, (laughs) now the band is back together. It's you, it's Hightower, it's Karis, it's the McCordys are back there, and you got – all these additions on offense. Do you have an opportunity now to to give everybody a big can of shut the F up about Bill Belichick and the Patriots? Yeah, I think that would be nice. But I think too I'm not I'm not too worried about that because I think everybody we all have different chips on our shoulder. Um you know something that I I I have a lot of goals individually and as a team. And I, I think, you know, it's zero zero, and everybody can say whatever they want. But those, sorry, little man's going crazy. He's ready to get in the media business too. <laughs> um, but no, I think honestly, everybody's going to be ready to go. I think uh, it starts from the head man, and I think he knows what he wants, and he knows how to get the pieces he wants and puts it together. I think. As players, we just got to come together as quickly as possible and have uh, one uh, one goal in mind. And I think uh, everybody's got that right now. Uh, I can just tell you from speaking, you know, to some of the players how hungry and excited they are. And I'm, I'm really excited. I got a big chip on my shoulder, too. Awesome. Thank you, buddy. Sorry, that was long-winded. Love it. That's just consumes, consumes. Yeah, just hopefully you splice it up good. <laughs> Next question is Chris Ryan, followed by Evan Lazar. Hey, Kyle, welcome back. Um, what does it say about everybody involved that there was that chirping, you know, last year and that everybody is kind of putting that past one another and that this relationship can can resume, whether it's you, whether it's, you know, Cam, whether it's Bill, um, that, you know, the, the circumstance ends up being bigger than what took place last year. I mean, it's part of football. I think everybody blows it out of proportion when there's trash talking in football. It's part of the game. Um, uh, it's part of the game. Some players are better than others. Some have terrible jokes. Some have good ones. Some can get under skin. Some can't. Um, it's part of the game. And I think, you know, it's, it's, yeah, it's part of the game. I don't, I don't think anyone takes it personal. If they do, then, you know, that's their deal. I want to ask you too, about how good you feel like this team can be. Is do you get a sense of that given the off season moves or do you need to see more to be on the field together in order to get a feel for how good you guys can be? <laughs> You want the Kyle GM to come out, huh? Um, I'm not going to go into, like, how good we can be. Um, it's just – it's so early. We're, we're It's March, you know what I mean? It, it's so early to say there's so many more prime moves that are going to be made. You still got the draft. I mean, it's so, so hard to say. But I know one of our goals defensively, like it always is, to be top five. And um, – you know, that's always the goal, and we have the pieces, so why not? Thanks. Next question, Evan Lazar, followed by Phil Perry. Hey, Kyle, welcome back. Uh, just wanted to ask you, being down in Miami last year, um, do you feel like you've been sort of in the same defense now for four or five years, and, and how does that help you at all um, with this transition back into New England scheme? Um, I, I mean, it's, it's different in some Everybody wants to have their own little flair to it. I, I would say it's different, um, similar stuff, but different. Uh, I mean, I, I feel like I can play in any system and be a very a, a high level player. I'm confident in my skills. I've shown it uh, ever since I was put on the field, and that just happened to start with the Patriots. So Bill does a good job of putting players in p- places to 
play their game. Um, I feel like I did that last year um, with the amount of opportunities that I had and the circumstances that I had, and I just um, going to continue to do it. And this year I get to do it with, um, you know, a group that I have trust in and that I feel like it won't skip a beat. And then we get to learn the new faces and I get to learn new faces. I'm the new guy now. So it's uh, going to be a good mix to get to know everybody and get, get to work. Next question, Phil Perry, followed by Andrew Callahan. Hey, Kyle, welcome back. What's up, other co-hosts? Sub, sub co-hosts, just a part-time guy. But yeah. uh, it, I wanted to ask you about uh, a guy, another guy you're reuniting with in, in Dante Hightower. And oh, I know how close you guys became as teammates. He obviously took last year off. What are you expecting from him, and and how do you expect to work together this coming year? Um, I mean, I, I'll let him answer that. I'm sure he he's gonna love talking to you guys. <laughs> um, but no, I'm I'm excited. Um, uh, that's my brother. Uh, we've been through a lot together. We've played a lot of games together. It's nice when you don't have to like. I mean, can you just use hand gestures or look at each other and know what each other's thinking? I'm, I'm excited to get back to work with him. Um, and I think his impact is bigger than people think just because he's such a force. When he steps on the field, you know, like everybody's like, that's Dante Hightower, you know? And hopefully when we both step on that field again, people say the same thing about both of us. And um, I'm excited to work with him. I'm excited to um, see him every day. I know how excited he gets to see me <laughs> every morning, baby. Um, no, but it's going to be good. He's 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 going to be good, I think. Thanks, Scott. All right, next question, Andrew Callahan, followed by Nick O'Malley. Hey, Kyle, it's good to see you again. Um, What's up, man? I know you mentioned kind of playing with an edge and guys are hungry for a variety of reasons. So I want to go back just to the statement that you kind of put out about being disappointed when you got cut in Miami. Do you think now getting to see them twice a year, that kind of chip on your shoulder or that edge, you know, you'll, you'll feel that a little bit more getting to play them now twice a year. Sure. We'll see. 